She made it, literally. Anyone on this side of the TV screen can tell you that makeup is a very big deal. And when former news anchor Jamie Kern Lima was on the air, she felt her makeup was not holding up its end of the bargain. She had a skin condition and no amount or brand of makeup could help. So she set out to solve her own problem, in the process becoming the it girl for many, many others. Watch this. It looks like her pores have completely disappeared. Yeah. They never imagined or planned to start a beauty company. I thought I was gonna be a journalist, but this sort of came out of solving my own problem. I have hereditary rosacea, and I'd be anchoring the news and talking, and I would hear in my ear from the producer, there's something on your face. It would be my rosacea coming through, and the makeup would be breaking up, and I could never find anything um, that actually worked. Jamie decided to use frustration as fuel to try something new. So I quit my job, <laughs> and, um, and the rest is kind of history. While headed to their honeymoon in 2007, Jamie convinced her new husband, Paolo, to write up a beauty business plan together. He has plastic surgeons in his family in Brazil. We kind of like started deep diving into how makeup formulations are made and how could we do them differently. With that, IT Cosmetics was born. We poured all of our money into um, research and development. The first three years, um, I ran the business out of my living room. I uh, didn't pay myself the first three years and um, heard no from everybody. Jamie pressed on, hoping to put Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in front of the masses. I knew I could wear it. It would cover, but it wouldn't break up. It wouldn't crease or crack. And um, I would set up meetings with Sephora, uh, QVC, Ulta. Always heard no, um, over and over and over. Luckily, Jamie was no stranger to hard work, even as a teenage girl growing up in Washington State. I had four jobs, so I worked as a full-time receptionist, coached gymnastics at night, and then on the weekends I'd work in the swap meet selling popcorn, take the bus to the Safeway to bag groceries. Drive, coupled with faith, made Jamie the first in her family to go to college, and was at the core of the opportunity she made for herself with her fledgling company in 2010. We finally got a yes from QVC, one airing for 10 minutes. Everything was on the line, and I begged QVC to let me take my makeup off and show my bright red rosacea. Welcome to QVC, Thank girl. You. And then I started crying. <laughs> At the 10 minute mark, the sold out sign went up, and um, I started crying. <laughs> Today, Jamie continues to follow her gut, and IT Cosmetics continues to expand. I remember when I used to think like this happens to other people. I'm Jamie Kern Lima and I made it. Get it? She literally made it. Yeah. It Cosmetics is now QVC's top selling makeup line. And by the way, L'Oreal reportedly bought it in 2016 for $1.2 billion. <laughs> Please welcome Jamie Kern Lima. Yes. yes! Talk about making it! Who, I love that, okay, necessity is the mother of all invention. Mm. But to your credit, you're much more of a, of a go-getter than I am because I have some rosacea too and I just sat around complaining about it. Uh, yeah, I, if just, I had been more innovative, I could also have 1.2 billion. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Megan Kelly, no, you just sat around like being an icon for women. That's oh, what you God, sat around no. doing, so it is right, right? <laughs> Was it your husband? Like, how did you think, okay, I am going to find the makeup to, to fix my own ailment? Yeah, well, I, I love other people's stories, right? So I thought I was going to be a journalist my whole career, but I started getting that rosacea, and um, I kind of had this realization, because I would spend my whole paycheck on, on makeup, that when you have great skin, everything just looks good. Um, but when you actually need coverage or, um, or you have visible pores, uh, nothing would work. It would break up uh, on television. People would, like, I'd hear the producer in my ear say, like, there's something on your face. There's something on your face, oh, and I would, sad. and I knew, I knew what it was. Right. Um, so I just, I always say to like, my producers, "That's my adult acne. Leave me alone. Leave me alone." <laughs> I know, right? Like, never thought I'd be 47 and getting wrinkles and acne at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so I, um, I just realized if I, if I feel this way, if, if there's no um, products that will work for me, there must be other women out there that have this kind of same frustration. And um, so I just got really passionate about it, and kind of, um, and that was the start of hundred-hour work weeks right. for the next 10 years. Okay, so so 2008 <laughs> was when the idea was born, yeah, right? So we're yes. talking about what's that? Uh, eight plus two. <laughs> it's ten almost years 10, ago. Almost ten. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, it's really sad. It's early. I need another cup of coffee. Ten years ago, 
Mm-hmm. Can I just add you best back then you weren't making a lot of money? No, uh, not at all. Yeah, I am. Um, so I started anyone who's an entrepreneur, like a true entrepreneur. This is kind of the journey. But I started in my living room and um, didn't pay myself the first three years. And so um, we had one employee that was an actress. I probably shouldn't even say this. She was, she was an actress and um, she lived in my apartment rent free in order for helping me pack boxes wow. um, 20 hours a week. And um, eventually, um, uh, my husband and I who started the business, we hired one of my best friends uh, of, of now of 20 years, employee number one. She's still with It Cosmetics. I hope she, she, goes goes on she, hope she has a lifetime supply. Yes, she does. Now listen, one more. We are back now with our series, She Made It, with It Cosmetics creator, Jamie Kern Lima. All right, so Jamie, yes. it wasn't easy for you. You were told no about a thousand times. Yes. And you were told more than no. Tell the audience what one potential investor told you when you said, would you invest in my It Cosmetics line? Oh, yeah. It was several years where everyone said no, all of our retail partners, um, Sephora, Ulta, QVC, which now we're all in today and grateful for. But yeah, one investor, we got pretty far down the line um, with with him investing in his private equity company. And I was so excited because I had no money. <laughs> I had a dream and everyone was still telling us no. So we had no money. And um, and eventually I thought it was going to happen because, you know, you go through the diligence process and they said no. And I said, okay, do you have any feedback? And he said, "Um, honestly, I don't know that women would ever buy makeup from someone who looks like you. And I kind of looked at him and he says, you know, with your body, with your weight. And I just kind of looked at him and um, I was like, okay, be graceful, be gracious. Like, but something deep down inside of me was like, "Uh uh-uh. Like, (laughs) you know, when you know something's not right and you got to stick with your gut, but it went on now a couple more years. where, you know, I knew if we could do QVC Live and show women, like, how life-changing the product is, um, uh, that, that it would work. And, mm-hmm. but, but everyone had said no. Um, On the day of the L'Oreal sale, did you call them up and say, how are you liking me now? <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is a true story. Actually, I was like, okay, I'm not going to be vengeful. I'm going to be, I'm so grateful for everything going on. You're such a better person on. than I am. No, but I would have called him. I got an email from him. The next time I heard from him was six years later. It was the day of um, the day L'Oreal acquired at Cosmetics, and he wrote me email said congratulations so happy for you i was wrong good and that was it so i'm like good. <laughs> maybe he learned a lesson maybe he learned yeah but honestly maybe it's important for people to hear because i think there are a lot of people out there with a great idea or an, a, a thought about changing their life yeah. and they think i can't i can't i had that when i got out of the law and wanted to get into journalism i had the i can't i don't know anybody in journalism i don't have i'm 32 i thought i was old <sighs> the good old days. Yeah. And, and you just need that little spark, that little something to say, wait, what if I can? Mm-hmm. For me, it was a Lifetime movie, a Lifetime TV movie about Jessica Savage. Just Google it. Um, and for you, what was the moment where you were like, no, wait, what if I can? Yeah, you know what I think it was? So many, many years ago, I think Halle Berry was like 20 at the time. I was, I was um, growing up and I saw an interview with her and she said, uh, God can dream a bigger dream for us than we can for ourselves. And I remember in that moment, I prayed that. I'm like, God, please dream a bigger dream for me than I can for myself. And I think that's been the key. It's been this journey um, of keeping my faith bigger than my fear because, mm-hmm. you know, I love Sephora and Ulta and QV see and when they're telling you no for for several years um, it hurts your ego it hurts your belief and you in think, yourself are they right it's hard not to let hearing no equate to doubt in your own head and that's the thing is like i just um that's, and, a, and a little bit of luck because i know you're wearing those earrings and those oh my shoes goodness, and that issues megan so the first so we finally got a chance on qvc it was 10 minutes and i'm like i was so so after it sold out the first time i'm like what earrings do i have on what shoes I've worn them for literally a thousand shows. You know, no, you know that's a good luck charm. You know, All right, the now baseball wait. players, right? That don't sour, like the socks. they don't shave. I've got I get to it. tell. I have to deliver to the audience now. The the product that I love is the bye bye under eye pot in a oh, pot. Yes, the concealer. It gets rid of situations here that nothing else can. All right, that's what I'm going to tell you. Life changing. And and just in case you're thinking, well, how much is that going to cost me on QVC? Fear not, because. Everyone in our audience is going home with a sampling of It Cosmetics! Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Congrats on all your success. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.